guys, it's Nikita Bandita, and I am back today, not with the vegan video, which I am doing, and I want to do right for you, but with a tat chat edition, um, all about tattoo fetish, fetishes, tattoo fetishes, and tattoo fetish, fetish, fetishization, 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 is that a word? I don't know. I clearly can't say it. But you get what I'm saying, um, fetishizing tattoos, making them a fetish, uh, yeah. Anyways, basically um, I've been seeing a lot of talk about um, on the internet in the YouTube tattoo area all about people touching your tattoos, people invading your personal space with tattoos, how untattooed un people feel about that, how tattooed people feel about that. I wanted to kind of give you my... 10 cents on this topic. If you have a lot of visible tattoos or any big visible tattoos, you are well aware of the fact that people will come up and touch them. People will touch them, people will talk to you. If you don't respond, they act very annoyed and like you're a complete bitch. Um, just like how, uh, you know, the whole uh, feminism thing about how you don't have to talk to men walking down the street if you don't want to. Because you don't. Um, I don't have to talk back to you if I have tattoos. Um, of course, like a lot of people are saying, you have this sort of, you feel this responsibility to kind of uh, be a good omen for other tattooed people because you don't want t people, non-tattooed people to think that all tattooed people are snobby, asshole, rude people. That being said, um, anytime I go out wearing something like this where you can see both my arm sleeves, I always get talked talk to, stopped, whatever, at least once. <laughs> um, for example, last time I went to the thrift store and I was wearing a tank top and shorts, like nothing special, this is a dress, but nothing special, um, I got stopped three times in one thrift store wasn't like a hipster thrift store. It was a regular old run-of-the-mill fucking thrift store and I got stopped three times. All people were really nice. They were all women actually. Um, they were all super nice and they were just like, oh I really love that. It's so beautiful. Where'd you get it done? How long did it take? How much did it cost? Did it hurt? Blah blah blah. Um, so that being said, that is annoying and that will happen to you. But that is not so bad because those people are genuinely interested in your art and they're not sexualizing it. They just, oh, that's pretty. I want to know about it. However, the other side of this coin is that the exact same thing will happen but with men and they use it as an in to force you to talk to them. Um, I'm sure this also happens with men who are tattooed with women. Um, but basically, for example, somebody will come up to you, usually somebody of the opposite sex or whoever you are attracted to, same sex, whatever, somebody who is clearly hitting on you will come up to you and, you know, touch your arm and go, oh, that's really nice. Why the fuck are you touching my arm? Like, no, not okay. This is not okay. This is something that as a society we have to realize is uh, her sexual harassment, <laughs> but people do it all the time. And it's super annoying and, you know, my my response is always, you know, stop touching me. You know, I, I don't want to talk to you. Like, if it's clearly somebody hitting on me or sexualizing me. And, it, you know, a great example of this is um, my fiancé used to work as a door guy at a very popular um, bar, very fancy cocktail bar here in Chicago that's uh, pretty, I'd say fairly world renowned. A lot of people, a lot of tourists go there. And multiple times, not just once, multiple times when he was a door guy there, like bro -y douchebags visiting from another city would say, hey bro, where do I find the hipster chicks with tattoos? Like which bar do I go to? And he'd be like, why? And they'd be like, oh, I want, I want to sleep with a, a girl with tattoos. And it's become this thing, you know, and he would be like, fuck you, my fiance has lots of tattoos. She is not a piece of meat. But it's become this thing where it is, it is now like a sexual fetish. Just like 
people have weird sexual fetishes for Asian women or, you know, big boobs or whatever. It has become a sexual fetish. And, you know, I, as somebody, as a white uh, cis female, I haven't really experienced too much, you know, exclusion or, you know, racism or any of that kind of stuff in my life. I, I'm very privileged. However, I mean, this is something new to me and I'm sure it is very minor compared to what other people experience. But in, in the, in, as you know, we're talking in the realm of tattoos, this is a thing that will happen to you as a woman or as a man. And people kind of treat you like you're this special toy or check box that they want to check off on their like sexual to-do list. Um, and it's really annoying and I don't I don't know how to change this as a society um, but I do know what I think my think the number one thing contributing to this is and that is porn directly using women with tattoos to market that type stereotype of porn um, and I will name two websites that maybe some of you are fans of um, one is Burning Angel, which is actually a, a porn site, a hardcore porn site that only uses tattooed women. And two is Suicide Girls. And I wanted to make this video mostly about Suicide Girls, but I think Burning Angel does play a part in it. Suicide Girls started long before Burning Angel. Suicide Girls is not a hardcore porn site. It is just a nude picture website. They have videos now too, I think, but um, basically it is. it started out as artsy nude women. Not all of them were tattooed. Some of them were just pierced or had different colored hair or whatever, you know, whatever alternative lifestyle plugs, uh, braids, whatever. And it developed into this like, oh, she looks like a suicide girl. And I hear this all the time. Oh, you look like a suicide girl. It, to me, that's saying, I look like a porn star, in a bad way. When I was young, I always wanted to be a suicide girl. I thought they were beautiful, I thought they were cool, I thought they were empowering themselves, and I, you know, I love that they were alt, but as I've grown up, I realized they didn't empower themselves. You know, they were using their bodies, which is fine, if they want to do that, that is fine, but they were not making much money the website was run by a man, even though it was fronted by a female. And, you know, they signed away the rights to this forever. And basically, he was developing this, this stereotype of woman that he wanted to sexualize. And a woman doing that herself is one thing, but it has led to essentially every heavily tattooed woman being looked at as almost a piece of meat by these people who frequent these sites. And, you know, I, I know Quicken talked about this. I know Katrin has talked about this. A bunch of people have talked about this. I, I know uh, Kira Rose has talked about this. Especially if you have anxiety, social anxiety, it makes going out harder, which is bizarre because, you know, you get tattoos to feel prettier about yourself, to feel self-empowered, to feel stronger, however, you, you know, for whatever reason. And, you know, then you go out and somebody makes you feel shitty about it. Like, somebody makes you feel like a slut in your own body. And, you know, there's so many things wrong with that. Uh, and, again, you can choose to not take it to heart, which is basically what I do. But it has come to this point where it is like the sexualization of a whole group of people. So, I'm wondering what you guys do to avoid this, what you think is a solution, what you think is, you know, something good that we can do as a tattoo culture community. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm kind of at a loss for words because I, you know, again, the unwanted, pe unwanted people talking to you in the first place is just hard, but, you know, people talking to you people hitting on you because you have tattoos is even worse. So, I don't know. That was a long, long chatty ramble, guys. 
But um, I am off to go out in the world and get picked on, maybe, who knows. So <laughs> I'll end it on a better note. Do what you want, fuck everyone else, and be who you are, because that's all we can do. So I hope you guys are having a great week, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, kittens.